January 18, 2010. I woke up just like any other Monday. I went to the gym, but it was closed because Martin Luther King Day. Instead of just going back home, I decided to go for a run. Little did I know, that would be the last time I'd ever run. The next thing I knew, I was laying on the floor of an underground parking deck. I couldn't feel my legs, and I knew it was something more serious than just some broken bones. When I woke up in the hospital, my sister told me that I had fallen 50 feet straight to concrete, and I was paralyzed from the waist down. Imagine, just living your life like you always do, and in a moment, your body and your entire future is stolen from you. I wanted to know what my future would look like, and I was searching for things like wheelchair, paraplegic, spinal cord injury, but all I could find were doctors talking about all the technicalities of my injury and not actual people living their lives. Over the next few years, I tried to cope with my new reality on my own, but only found comfort in drugs. This started the spiral of addiction, and in the depths of my depression, I submitted to the fact that I was a drug addict and this was just the way I was gonna die. I was ready to kill myself. I even tried a few times. No one should ever have to go through what I went through. But unfortunately, this is a common story for people like me. After going to drug rehab and spending years in therapy, I was finally able to cope with my reality, but I was still ashamed of my past. I was living under the radar and had completely erased myself from the internet. But somehow, I got invited to be a guest on Andrew's podcast and had the opportunity to open up about my past for the very first time. Over the next few weeks, I listened to that episode over and over. I finally realized I had a lot more to say, but nowhere to say it. So, I started a YouTube channel with a mission to help wheelchair users thrive and avoid all the mistakes I made. I wanted a place for that younger version of myself to find what he was searching for. But let's be honest, being a full-time YouTuber is almost impossible. Normally, it takes years of dedication for people to break out, but I knew that my story was so important, I was willing to do whatever it takes. This year has been absolutely crazy. <laughs> Showed you guys how to go to concerts, how to go grocery shopping, and how to take public transportation. Andrew and I flew to California, I taught you how to navigate downtown LA at night, and I sat on a street corner and let strangers ask me anything. Corey from Lunch Money Garage showed me his hand-controlled drag car, I worked out with Aaron Baker in his extremely adapted gym, and we flew back home from California and I showed you guys how to fly on your own. Kyle took us rallycross racing with his hand-controlled BMW, we got to hang out with Aaron Fotheringham and try indoor skydiving for the very first time. The next day, we went to the skate park and got to try WCMX. I drove down to Miami and rented a power beach wheelchair, met up with Carlos and rode his jet ski and adapted four-wheeler, and I pushed a 10K at the Wings for Life World Run. Flew to Chicago for the Abilities Expo to show you guys new wheelchair technology. I gave you a tour of my apartment and showed you it's possible to live alone, and I made a video addressing all the haters. I shared my secrets about how I was able to walk again after six years. I flew to New York City and Garrison showed us how to overcome accessibility challenges. And we headed up to Northeast Off-Road Adventures to test out some off-road wheelchairs. Explored Atlanta with my new friends, Hannah and Jesse, and Allie and I taught you how to cook in a non-modified kitchen. I flew to Texas where Matt and I showed you how to get your confidence back. Then we partnered with a disabled outdoorsman to show you guys how to hunt in a wheelchair. I flew back to LA and Danny showed me how to dress fashionably as a wheelchair user. And I showed Louie what it's like to face accessibility challenges. Then we went to hands-on concepts in San Diego where I showed you guys how to get properly fitted for a custom wheelchair. I taught you guys some basics like how to properly push your wheelchair and how to wheelie. And after podcasting on Patreon for over a year, we finally launched our podcast to the public. Without a doubt, 2019 was the best year I've ever had. And unfortunately, it ended on a bad note when I got hit by a car. The beginning of 2020 has been pretty rough, but I'm healing and looking forward to making videos for you guys as soon as possible. In the meantime, our podcast comes out every Friday, so be sure to subscribe. 
If you want to support the mission of Wheels to Walking, please support us on Patreon. Unfortunately, the current state of YouTube is really difficult for creators like me to have a steady source of income. So Patreon is a subscription service where you can pay what you want, but the more you pay, the more access you get to other perks. So if I've provided any value to you or anyone you know, please consider supporting. I cannot believe it has been 10 years, and I cannot believe the overflowing support that I've got from viewers just like you. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to share my story and make like my suffering worth it. I went through hell and back, but being able to take the worst things that's ever happened to me and turn it into the best thing that's ever happened to me wouldn't be possible without you guys. Thank you so much for your words, for your comments, for your messages. Like. I'm, I'm constantly overwhelmed, like to the point of tears. I'm like, I can't believe this is real life. That it's my job to make videos. I'm helping people not go through what I went through. I hated that part of my life. It was torture. And, and if I even have the ability to reduce the suffering of just one person, then I know I'm winning. And that means you're winning, we're all winning. And, and I just wanna say like from the bottom of my heart, like, thank you, thank you so much. Thanks for watching and let's make 2020 the best year ever.